cents out of the tiny plastic building blocks and then sells them. But instead of keeping the cash, they give it to local charities. So, so far, a food bank and a homeless shelter have benefited from their work. As parents, I believe we have a responsibility to really show our kids that it's important to appreciate what you have and as well as doing things for others. This is a really good project for our family to do because our whole family likes Legos. And this year they say they'll give whatever money they make to domestic violence shelters and a local center for kids. It's great. Well, if you like to build, Hartford is a place to be. Tickets are going fast for this weekend's Lego Kids Fest. The two Saturday sessions at the Connecticut Convention Center have already sold out. But you can still get tickets for sessions today and Sunday to see the giant traveling expo. The last session ends at 7.30 Sunday night. And the sheer number of toys out there can make it tough to holiday shop for kids. The options can be overwhelming, but there's a way to pick quality educational products to get the best bang for your buck. And here to help is speech language pathologist and toy consultant Sherry Artemenko. Sherry, thanks for joining me. Well, thank you. So you're saying that these toys in the books were released on your top 10 PAL Award picks for 2011. What makes it a PAL Award pick? That's right. Well, PAL Awards recognize outstanding toys, books, and games that have the DNA for great play in building language. Sure. And we know language Language is the foundation of all learning, whether it's language arts or math or science. Uh, why not make learning fun? That's right. So let's start off with Busy Busy Airport. Okay, well <laughs> this is Richard Scarry's Busy 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 Town Busy Busy Airport. So it's Very a busy place. <laughs> uh, by I Can Do That Games, and it's a wonderful company because they merge pretend play with starter games. Mm -hmm. So you take your little pilot and you get into the airplane and you fly to four different destinations, mm -hmm. which are filled with Richard Scarry's illustrations, rich vocabulary. Mm -hmm within a category, whether it's the city, the mountain, the forest. This goes for around how much? Twenty four ninety nine, something okay. like that. Yeah, it's, very it's for affordable. three and up. It's really fun. Okay, and what do we have down here? Well, down here we have Madeline's Pet Hospital Playset by Patty Wack Lane, mm -hmm. and it's uh, they make a lot of little vignettes. But here they've combined kids' interest in pets and taking care of things. Okay. So Madeline has all her wonderful flexible Aww. props. She's got her stethoscope and she's got her little carrying yeah, case for is. the injured for <laughs> the injured animals, and of course a shot and some pills. The one toy I've had my eye on is this Noah's Ark right here. So cute with all of these it animals is. and the elephant and lions. Yes, that's the uh, take along, my take along um, Noah's Ark by Playmobil 123 and that's their line for toddlers. Really, um, pretend play is starting at about 12 months. This is for 18 months and up. Mm -hmm. So you want things they're interested in, which yeah. is animals, people for dialogue, mm -hmm. and you've got food and water so they can eat and that actually floats. And uh, what's the, oh no. Yes. You're kidding. Yeah. So they can play when they're taking a bath. Absolutely. That's cute. Absolutely. I want one now. How, yeah. uh, what's the price point for this one? Um, that one is about $25, too. Okay, that's great. And I noticed the doodle roll. I think that's so cute. Doodle I love roll. it. It's so convenient. Just roll it, it out. It is. And it's just a long roll of paper. It can be 15 feet or 30 feet. Okay. And it comes with the crayons, and the packaging is such that you can just tear off the, your uh, picture when you're done. I love it. So when kids are drawing, they're starting a story. Oh, they definitely yeah. are in their heads, and then they're talking exactly. about it. Exactly. And then they can write about it or tell about it. And we were talking about Legos, and yeah. lo and behold, you have something with Legos here. What is this is a Duplo Lego set. It's my first zoo, and I just blogged on my website, planwords.com, mm -hmm. about which sets are great and how to pick good sets for building language. And how do you pick good well, sets? Well, you look for ones that have enough um, plain blocks or plain bricks mm -hmm. for open-ended play, but then they have specialty pieces, like here you have a slab of meat that the little zookeeper is <laughs> taking uh, on his Jeep to the animals, or you have clear bricks that can be the water for the polar bear and the mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. So the kids have different areas to go in their storytelling. And you blog about all these toys, and I love the fact that parents will tell you, okay, it works for my kid, and my kid is 14 months, or my kid is 18 months. Exactly. And it's nice to know parent to parent. Exactly. If it's worth your money. Yeah, and I just got a note from a mom who had uh, the new set, um, which is uh, Winnie the Pooh's house in, oh. in Duplo, and mm -hmm. she said her child learned up and down by going up and down, him going up and down the slide. Great. So it's great to get that kind of feedback. Now, we always have to incorporate books. It's very yes. important for kids to read, or parents to read to their kids at this yes. point if they're too young. Young, but this one's called Beautiful Oops. 
I love beautiful oops. This is for adults and kids, and it's all about um, taking your mistakes and making them into masterpieces. I it's written love by this. wonderful artists, and he has a um, story about that when he was growing up. So it's, I just love that book. Sometimes the best projects or the best things come out of a mistake. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, before we go, just the names real quick of each of these other two books. Hands Off can... Harry and Scritch, Scritch Scratch, A Perfect Match. Oh, I love it. It's easy and quick to quick, quick, quick to remember. Yeah. I should say. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Well, thank I appreciate you. it. And up next, a chilly start to your Friday, feeling a lot more like December today. Darren is up with your forecast as you look live here in Hartford. We're going to have the weekend outlook next. Stick around. On the